Number 33, calculate the following to four significant figures. And then we have letter A. So in this case, we have to calculate the percent composition of ammonia, which is NH3. Okay, simple enough, right? The percent composition, right, what they're asking for, they're looking for the percent composition of ammonia, right, which is NH3. That's just coming from a simple formula, which is this one right here. I'm going to link this, I'll, I'll put this up here. Okay. So to find any percent composition, now they're specifically saying for a individual element or a group of elements in a certain compound, I just label it as X. All we have to do is just find out the amount of that element and divide it by the total amount. Remember, a percent is always just the part of something, and that's the top, divided by the whole amount, right? The total. Any percent is just part over whole times 100. So let's just figure out what the parts are, what's the whole is, and let's calculate it. Now, the numbers are coming from the periodic table. We are basically finding the molar mass of ammonia, NH3. So let's, let's break it down. So for ammonia, NH3, right, you have two different elements. You have nitrogen and you have hydrogen. What you're going to do is you're going to just tell me or, you know, write down how many nitrogens and how many hydrogens there are in NH3. So how many nitrogens? Well, here's the N. There's a secret one here, right? If you just have a random element, you only have one of it, right? There was no subscript down here. So there's a secret one here. So I have one nitrogen. And then for hydrogen, I see that three value. So that means that I have three hydrogens. And all you're going to do is you're going to multiply these numbers, the one and the three, you're going to multiply them by the molar mass on the periodic table. So get out your periodic tables, guys. All right. Let's see if your numbers roughly match up to mine. So my exact value on the periodic table for nitrogen is 14.01. And this is grams per mole. That's the unit of, um, any number, any molar mass on the periodic table. And then for my hydrogen, I have 1.008, and that's grams per mole. All we have to do is just multiply the numbers, right? So one times 14.1 is one, uh, 14.01, right? And then for the bottom number, three times 1.008, I believe is 3.024. We could always do the do the calculator just in case. 1 times 1.008. Yep, there we go. And we have, you know, grams per mole and then grams per mole. Okay, now in order to do this, we have to find out the total amount for the whole entire compound. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this over on this side. Because what we're going to do is we're going to add the totals. So I'm going to take my 14.01 and just add it to the 3.024 to get a total molar mass amount. 3.024. Okay, so the total molar mass for NH3 is 17.034 grams per mole. And that's the total. Now we just want to find out the percent composition of each individual element. So we have to do it for nitrogen and we have to do it for hydrogen. So let's do the percent composition for nitrogen. Well, it's the amount of that nitrogen. Remember X goes with X. So since we're talking about nitrogen, nitrogen's amount got to go on the top. So that's the 14.01. Now when I do the math, I don't really need to put my units anymore because I know that I'm in the correct units. So for nitrogen, I have 14.01 and divide that by the total amount. This was the total amount, the 17.034. And all you got to do is times it by 100. Let's just set up the same thing for the hydrogen. So for the hydrogen, you take hydrogen's total amount that we calculated, the three 0.024, divide that by the total molar mass, so 17.034, and then just multiply by 100. So the percent nitrogen is 14.01 
divided by that number and then times by 100. They want it to four significant figures. So it seems it would be 82.25%. So maybe I'll just bring this over because I know I'm getting a little bit a little bit close over there. Actually, yeah, that's fine. So 82.25 is the amount for nitrogen. That's the percent for nitrogen. And if you want to do hydrogen, we have this, but you could also subtract from 100 since there's only two elements in the a compound. They got to equal a total of 100, so that's always a good check just to make sure you did it right. So 3.024 divided by 17.034. Three point zero two four divided by seventeen point zero three four, and then times that by one hundred. What's going on? So I got seventeen point seven five with the four sig figs, and that's it. There are your two answers: percent comp for nitrogen, way more percent nitrogen in ammonia by, you know, mass than hydrogen. Makes sense because nitrogen weighs way more than hydrogen does. But that's it. Guys, what do you think? Hopefully it's helped. Let me know in the comments. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. Bye.